What is Apex? Apex DQN is uh, nothing else than a combination of any form of DQN with distributed prioritized experience replay. You already know the concept of prioritized experience replay, where you have tuples of a past state, uh, action, a new state, and the reward, and a temporal difference computed for this tuple. It is distributed. Distributed means that many machines, many cores can use the same replay buffer. This replay buffer is added to a DQN or double DQN or dual DQN, whatever. Each of these combinations will be called Apex. Here is the code for Apex, and you can find the perfect hyperparameters of Apex uh, following the link I added here. Just a configuration. You don't have to write a lot of code. You initialize rare and lib configuration. Its core is that you initialize Apex configuration class. Here you initialize Apex DQN, and here you build optimizer. You instantiate config and you pass different hyperparameters. Number of replay buffer shards. Shards are how many pieces of that buffer will live in your system. Then number of steps in each epoch, then train batch size, then how frequently is updated the target network, double DQN. It's a target network update. See, and here in the configuration, we set it to be updated once in a 500,000 steps. We have a configuration for a buffer. We can make it local or non-local. A non-local means distributed, and this is what makes Apex Apex. Distributed replay buffer, multi-agent. It means multiple agent trends simultaneously can use the same prioritized replay buffer instance. And the capacity is number of samples that this buffer stores. In this case, it is 2 million. Next is Rainbow. Rainbow concept is nothing else than just a successful combination of uh, different DPRL improvements. There are a variety of rainbow configs. Here is, I added a link to a, a set of uh, successful uh, configurations of rainbow for ping pong, and you can find a much more there. For example, let's consider this configuration. Here, you use DQN, stopping it uh, when you reach the mean episode reward of 20, and then you set a gamma, it's a decay coefficient, and learning rate, number of hidden layers, and uh, rollout fragments, it's a length of trajectory, a batch size for training, and uh, the successful exploration configuration. Here we said that we do exploration only for two time steps, and then it turns into zero. And then we set a frequency of target network updates. Every 500 steps, we update the network. Again, it's a single DKN, so it looks like this. Every 500 steps, we update this target network weights. By fact, we just copy these weights here. Your homework will be to implement the following combinations of policy networks and different improvements. And here are the forms that you have to use. You have to use gym environment and rare lib. According to what I showed you here, you have to use a salt Atari game Gym environment, rare lib. First, train and tune DQN. Simple, one network DQN. Then train and tune DQN plus experience replay. Why it is important? Just for, for you to compare what improvement gives you experience replay. Then you have to train and tune double DQN plus prioritized experience replay and understand how much value adds a prioritization of experiences. Then improve your policy neural network with a double dueling DQN and the same prioritized experience replay to understand what a dueling gives you. Then Apex, you use distributed. Prioritized experience replay, did it speed up your training and to what extent? You end up implementing something like this and then you report all of that. Here I added a cheat sheet. They are already tuned examples of essentially everything that uh, you have here you have already tuned examples, but for other games. Try to reuse them for assault and see how it works, and then play a bit with it, trying to squeeze some good results.